This video is sponsored by FCHQ. Go to the link in the bio to learn more about FCHQ, join the Discord, and check out their amazing new app. In this video, we're going to discuss how to create a map that's ready for event binding, and how to convert an existing map into event binding, and make sure everything runs smoothly. When creating a new map, go ahead and choose the template island that you want to start with for that map. Once you've chosen that, go ahead and put in the name and confirm. Now, once you've named your map, go ahead and head into My Island and Event System. In order to create using the event binding system, you first need to convert your map in order to use it. However, this will get rid of the channel system. If you're used to using channels, then maybe this isn't the right step for you. However, Epic Games will be moving to the event binding system permanently within the next year. So it is very, very important to at least get comfortable with event binding and convert some of your basic maps to get used to the new system. In order to convert a brand new map, you just need to scroll down to convert. Read the warning here, which just lets you know that once you go ahead and use direct binding, you will not be able to go back to using channels on that particular map. Go ahead and confirm. Now when you go back, you'll notice event system will still say convert, so how do you know it worked? Well, there's an easy way to do this. You'll go ahead and head to devices and you can choose any device. Once you take that device and place it down, you can go ahead and head over to where the channels would be. Now you notice channels have been replaced with event binding functions. These new functions are how event binding works. And we're gonna go through this momentarily. In another example, we're going to go ahead and place down an already created mechanic. Uh, this mechanic that's currently set up is using channels. And what it does is it gives you custom loot when you open a chest. So you'll see here that we have the entire channel system and it's pretty straightforward. It's all hooked up to channel 500 currently. So what we need to do is convert this to an event binding system and then correct any mistakes. So let's say you already have a map that's created. One of the first things you're gonna to wanna to do if you are a channel-based map, you're gonna to have to go ahead and label your devices first. So you're gonna click on the gear wheel on the bottom left and click rename on each device. Then you need to rename each device so you can remember those devices and what they're doing. I have a tracker that is tracking custom loadouts. So I'm gonna type in, I, I keep the word tracker just so I know it's a tracker. Um, and, and everyone may do this a little differently. Um, and the way I do it is then I'll write custom, I'll write custom loadout. And then that lets me know this tracker is to give the custom loadout. Perfect. Now that it's renamed, I can go ahead and hit okay. Now I'm gonna go through each of these and rename them before I go ahead and convert this to event binding. It is so important to rename your devices because when you bring over a ton of devices to event binding, they may all have different names and it's gonna be extremely difficult to sort through what each thing is. So in this item grantor, I noticed that this has my weapons. So pretty easy. I'm just gonna label it what it is, right? So this is item grantor weapons. Same thing here. This is item grantor consumables. This is item grantor resources. And then you see me clicking back in. The reason I do that is sometimes when you rename, it does not stick. And that's a current bug during this tutorial. So you just wanna make sure you're double checking your work. So once you confirm, just go back in and double check that the name took. On this one here, we have our last one, which is item grantor ammo. You're noticing that I'm writing it up here. And then in other times when you hit rename, it may actually pop up its own dialog box. That's also kind of been back and forth. Sometimes it does it one way, sometimes it does it the other way. But you're noticing now I have all five of these devices labeled. Now what I need to do is convert my island. If you have a popular map or a map that you're publishing, 
and you are not sure if the event binding is going to work properly, what I would highly suggest doing is creating a duplicate of your map first. Then on the duplicate map that does not have an island code, you'll go ahead and go in, convert it to event binding, and make sure that your map works with event binding properly. Once you see that it works and you confirm that, you can then go ahead and repeat the same work in your current live map. This is a really important step if you have a big map that you do not want to see break. All right, so in this case, I'm going to go ahead and just confirm. And now I'm going to convert after we notice it was channels previously. I just converted the map. You'll notice not much has changed. I'm going to click here, however, and instead of channels, once again, we're not going to see channels anymore. We're going to see events. And you're noticing there's nothing to display. That's okay if it says nothing to display. It just means that nothing event binds to these granters. However, you can tell the tracker to event bind to the item granter, which is what we're going to do here. We're going to let this load. And what's amazing, by the way, and this is something I've noticed in the later updates, you'll see here that Epic Games has now made it where they've converted your channels into events for you and given the best guess. So it actually recreated the channels and converted it to event binding for me. This actually looks pretty accurate. So I didn't actually have to do much work here. This is a newer thing. So you definitely want to make sure that it works by testing your work. What I'm going to do here to test the work, I'm going to go ahead and create a chest. In order to get a custom chest, you do need to put one item into it. I'm going to choose one rocket and then I'm going to click create chest. Now that I have the chest created, I'm going to go ahead and place it down. Now, when I open that chest, I should be getting each of these consumables. Let's go ahead and see if this works right off the bat. All right, now approaching this custom chest, when I open it up, you'll notice here that I got one of everything. All I had to do is convert to event binding. If you're looking for additional tutorials on event binding, make sure to check that link out on the top right and also look for more links in the description below. Please let me know in the comments what other tutorials you'd like to see me create. Thank you guys and until next time, take care.